Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some of the highlights that were released in July of 2021. This is the list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered the best free new assets, so go check that if you haven't seen it yet. And in the next video I will be covering the top assets and effects. Let me know which ones of these you're most interested in and I might do a detailed review on it. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. And by the way, right now there's a mega bundle happening, it's a massive discount at 95% off. It's pretty nice in terms of variety, lots of systems, props, particles and sounds. These bundles are always great value, if just one of these assets interests you, then the whole bundle is worth it. Check the link in the description to see it. And by the way, check out my own assets on the store. So far I've made the free keydoor system, which is a super simple way to add keys and doors to your games and the Mouse Cursor System Pro, which is a very easy to use tool to help you create some custom animated cursors to really make your game stand out. I'm currently working on converting more videos into pro systems, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so starting off with one that is possibly extremely useful, the Low Poly Mesh Generator. So one of the issues with picking up third-party assets is making them all look like they fit together. That's one of the reasons why I like the Low Poly style, it's very consistent. But there's also a ton of realistic assets that would possibly work great with your game, but they don't fit with the low poly style. So that's where this asset comes in. You take a high end mesh and it generates a low poly mesh. Meaning that you can use all of the high end realistic models that you already have and use them in a low poly game while keeping the look of the game very consistent. This really seems like an excellent tool. I never thought about this approach as an option, so I'm very interested in checking this one out. Then if you want to highlight some parts of your models, here is Bone Zones. Easily split your model into various zones, so very good for making some weak points on your enemies, or maybe you add some of dismemberment mechanics, kind of like that space. Based on the video, it seems like it works very well, you can make as many areas as you need and use them to make some interesting mechanics. If you're working on a game with vehicles, check out this simple library creator. Start with a blank canvas and paint all of the details. Change the base color, add a bunch of decals on top, really build something nice. It comes with two vehicles and over 75 stickers, vectors and shapes. It works on those vehicles, but really it can work on any mesh. From what I can tell, this is running when you play the game, meaning that you can include this tool in your game in order to let the players create their own libraries. And in combination with the previous asset, here is the Mobile Drift Physics, also from the same developer. It's a drift physics system. Use this to quickly get a racing drifting game working. Naturally, it includes all of the mobile controls. Also has a very detailed documentation explaining all of the components. These types of systems are all about feel, so thankfully they have a demo on the page that you can try before you buy. If instead you're interested in physics puzzle platformers, here's a great starting pack. This is very much similar to games like Gang Beasts or Human Fall Flat. It's a fully featured, fully working framework, so this is perfect for picking it apart and seeing how it all works. Everything is of course using physics, so it leads to some very wacky gameplay. Lots of boxes and buttons to push, you can grab a hold to something and rappel down, use the elevator or grab some planks. If you're interested in this genre, definitely study this one. Then here's a really interesting one for level design, the Procedural Generation Grid. It's a very powerful tool for automating level creation. You define a whole bunch of rules, a whole bunch of assets, and then the algorithm decides where to place all the objects. Looking at the video, the results are pretty great. I wouldn't say that those levels were procedurally generated, they look very natural. You can use it entirely without writing any code, or if you want, you can also use code to create some unique rule nodes. It works for both generating objects in edit time, as well as during play mode. So this is one of those things that if you put in the time to learn this tool, I can see it being a massive time saver. Also, this one is currently in beta, which is actually great because it means that the current price is already 50% off the final price. So if you're interested, get it quick. Up next, here is Lean Texture Plus. This is a tool for doing just about anything to do with textures. It features channel packing, seamless texture conversion, normal map generation, edge coloring, really tons and tons of actions you can take on just about any texture. This looks like a great tool, so you can use textures that you get from various asset packs and make them fit into your games. And it also has a bunch of effects, like tint, blur, pixelate and more. It works both in the editor as well as in-game. There's also a free version you can try out, so it's a really interesting tool, I'd love to try this one out. Then for something very niche and very interesting, the face recognition system. 
You give it the image of a face, then an image with a lot of faces, and it recognizes that one face. It works offline, so there's no connection required to any external server. Like I said, this is a very niche tool. I'm guessing maybe this might be very useful when working on some AR games, or perhaps just for building some tool within Unity. Always remember that Unity isn't just for making games, you can build anything. This one also has a free version you can try out. And up next here is Orbis Dots Terrains. In last month's video, I highlighted a Dots character controller, and now here we have a terrain. Like I said back then, it's great that there's a bunch of Dots tools starting to come out. This one is all about terrain, which is perfect for Dots. It lets you create some massive, insanely detailed terrains. Since Dots is insanely fast, you can easily modify the terrain during runtime. It all runs on jobs, so it never blocks the main thread. Vegetation is streamed in and out based on the camera position, and it also includes a floating origin system so you can build some insanely massive worlds. Works on both flat terrain as well as some spherical terrains. It's a really impressive asset. Again, just like the other one, this one can be a great tool to learn from. You can get it and inspect the source code to see how it all works. And then we have the leaning animator. It does exactly what it says. Add some leaning to your animations to add that extra bit of polish. It's subtle, but it definitely makes a difference. Works for leaning to the sides while running in circles, but also for making the character appear much more natural when going up or down the ramps. Features a custom inspector to really make it super easy to use. If you're in the polish stage of your game, definitely look into this one. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Asset Store for July of 2021. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Check the full playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.